Oh, hey there, people. It's Friday afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Normally around this time I'm nice and bright and awake and things, but I didn't get to bed till late last night because, uh, well, I had to render the vlog and upload the vlog, and for some reason, the first time I uploaded the vlog, it came back with a processing error. There's nothing wrong with the video. I could play it. And so the video was deleted, so I had to upload it twice. Second time around, I did nothing different. Uploaded it the exact same way and this time it worked. The reason why I know it worked is because it's got views this morning. So obviously I did nothing wrong and uh, YouTube just talked over the program. But then, then again, isn't that what YouTube does? They seem pretty uh, pretty good at, uh, at ruining things, you know, but whatevs. Well, I won't be going to visit Jules on her lunch today, that's for sure. Uh, she is basically busy, busy, busy. That and it's late. She's at home right now. Apparently her, one of her children was, uh, had to get out of daycare or something like that. So they sent the kid home and she had to take a half day of work, which sucks, but it's the way she goes. So she's at home right now. She wanted me to go over. I'm like, listen, I need my coffee. If I don't have my coffee, I'm going to freaking die. So that's what I'm doing right now, making a coffee and welcome to my vlog. Coffee. One bubble mic, one drops a video today talking about. Yeah. And it's funny that he drops this video because uh, last night at work, my co worker was uh, talking about this coffee. It uh, basically it's from monkey feces. I guess they eat the beans and then they crap out the beans and then the beans become like super mega awesome friggin' ultra coffee and then you brew it up like you would normally with coffee and then you're off to a shitty coffee day, you know? Like I was laughing because my co worker, she was talking about it last night and then just going on about it and I'm like oh yummy so now we know where Starbucks gets their beans eh it's not Folgers people it's monkey shit you know what they say the best part of waking up is some monkey shit in your cup for ya maybe I'm wrong I don't know, but I personally would not drink a hot steaming cup of monkey shit. And especially for the fact that apparently they charge like anywhere from $70 to $100. Oh, I forget I forgot stuff. Yeah, they charge $70 to $100 for a cup of monkey shit coffee. Now, I don't think it's actually called monkey shit coffee. It actually has a real valid name to it. I just don't know what the hell that name is. And once again, I wouldn't drink a hot steaming pile cup of monkey shit coffee. I'd rather drink Folgers in that case, to be honest with you. And I am not a big Folgers fan. Look, you can tell, you know. If it's not Tim Hortons or my K-Cups, I personally am on the Maxwell House. I like that coffee. It's good coffee. Especially the instant. Yes, people, I have drank instant coffee, and I do not mind it one bit. Friggin' monkey shit coffee, eh? Son of a bitch. Just watching a video here by the North, uh, the North, oh shit, the North Zero Three, and uh, he does a lot of cooking videos and things like that. And right now, his buddy Brian, I believe is his name, is doing this crazy, like, I've never seen anybody cook like this before. It's so awesome. You gotta check out this video on the North Zero Three's channel. Uh, basically, um, if I remember, I'll put a link to this video in my description. But they're cooking on a on a fire, not a campfire, and like a like a beach fire, and they're making like potatoes and corn and lobsters and but when you see it like you you won't believe what you're watching it's, it's pretty pretty amazing actually like I would have never thought to cook like this and I've only ever had lobster once to be honest with you first time I ever had well I had it twice I shouldn't say that because I had it at Red, Lo at Red Lobster but it wasn't the same as when I had it in Deerhurst in Deerhurst you actually had to know how to eat the damn thing at Red Lobster they already had the damn thing deshelled and everything and it was just the meat but um, at Deerhurst they literally literally brought it out like I ordered the lobster and it came out as a lobster and I had no idea how to get the meat that meat out of the damn thing so I'm like like working the claws and stuff finally got the claws to open up and then I was like okay I got the claws open so I ate that meat and I'm like that's it and then you know my uh, uh, my friend's aunt was like no 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 you gotta like peel off the shell now there's meat in the back and I'm trying to work this shell son of a bitch it was it was ridiculous so yeah I learned my lesson that 
uh, lobster is delicious, but the reason why is because it's so hard to get the meat out of it. Well, for me anyway. A lot of you guys, I know like for instance crab legs, whereas Bobby has a technique where he can open up a crab leg without using the, um, the nutcracker. And him, me, Bloke, Tracy, and Bobby went for King's Buffet one night and they had the uh, snow crab legs out. And Bobby would go up with a plate and just empty the friggin' insert right onto his plate, come back with like 40 some odd crab legs, and he'd kill that before Bloke and I even got a chance to touch our food. And he wasn't even using the nutcracker for it. He was just like opening them like non-stop. It was awesome. But it's it's been a long time since I've had lobster. And uh, I really wish North Bay had... Oh, wait a second, people. <clears throat> I really wish North Bay had a red lobster because it was good food. It sucks that you gotta drive all the way to Sudbury for a red lobster. Also sucks that you gotta drive all the way to Sudbury for a Taco Bell. That's another story. But uh, I really enjoyed the lobster. I thought it was kind of delicious and nutritious and other things. So, I don't know. To each their own, I guess. Yep, it up. One coffee is never enough around here, so time to make coffee number two. Drive that into me. Yeah, Jules is contacting me there, and she's stuck at home. She pulled all the kids out of daycare. Said, "Frig it, why well, just you know have to go pick up one kid, and then later on tonight go pick up the other three. She said, "Why not just take them all home?" So she's just stuck at home right now with uh, the four kids, and. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty dick. So that kind of, kind of sucks. She wanted me to go over before work, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm not even awake yet. I need more coffee. Freak's sakes. Usually two will do it. Two will put me over the edge. Three will just make me right wired and ready to rock. But uh, yeah, Ugh, good stretch. Bulls are needed. Ugh. So, um, not sure what the hell is going on today. I got to work at four, so that sucks. Well, hopefully tonight shifts as quick as it was last night because. Because, uh, you know, not quick but easy, light work, not too busy, because that'd be awesome in the frig to have a nice easy shift and to get through that really quick. So, just saying. <laughs> oh, frig yeah, people. Coffee number two. Today's going to be a good day. Why do you always, like, sit down all the time? Friggin' dog. Comes <laughs> running in, then he just sits. I don't know what's wrong with the puppy. He's being weird. Oh, ah, well. So tonight we're gonna do flyer day for sure when I get home from work. Uh, I won't be all drunk and things, but uh, we're gonna do flyer day for sure. Actually, I'm supposed to go for coffee tonight at midnight with uh, Adrian and Elijah Wood. So that should be pretty freaking awesome. And uh, we'll, we'll go hammer that out. <coughs> oh, freak six. Well, I just drank two coffees, feeling pretty awesome. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, head over to um, Jules' house and hang out for a bit before work, and then um, go from there, and then go to work, obviously. So that's my battle plan, so let's pitter patter and have at her. So I've been trying to find a way to get my phone to display video to my computer, and uh, basically kind of like what you can do with the iPad with uh, the Airstream server. And I wanted to do the same, or whatever, AirPlay server. You can install AirPlay on your PC, and your iPad can play. You can actually transfer, like if you're playing a video game, you can transfer to your computer and then record it. And I wanted to do that with my with my Android phone, because I wanted to be able to uh, record uh, some, some Android games for the gaming channel. Problem is, is all the friggin' software I found that's free uh, runs like shit. It's, it's horrible stuff. It's, it's garbage. Uh, it's all choppy, like three frames a second, and just complete bullish, you know? So I figured, frig it, we'll go with uh, plan, uh, plan D. What the hell's he doing? Look at him, look at him. Of course, focuses on the screen. So if you go in real quick, you can bypass the screen and it'll focus on the target. It's like there's no screen there. But if you back it out, and you get the screen in the shot and you come in really slow, It'll realize there's a screen. Uh, just one second, my phone's vibrating. All right, we've got Oreo back in the house. Got my cigarettes. Gonna grab a spare pack in case I need it. Keep them in the freezer now. That way, there they don't go. They don't go bad. Okay, two packs cigarettes. Got her keys, got her wallet. No, we don't. Yes, we do. This thing's not working right now, people. But, um, yeah, I just got a call. Sure enough, I get a call, right? As I'm talking to Buddy, Oreo's like, in the backyard, gone. He went through the hedges somehow. Little bastard. So, get a call from another bank trying to steal my mortgage. Yeah, did you know they uh, they resell mortgages now? Apparently. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that one in the car while we're going over to Jules' house. So let's uh, pitter patter and have at her and head over there. And no, I will not be showing the road on this one because, well, I'll explain that one in the car. So let's get the frig out of here. All right, people. Yeah, you're probably saying, dude, why don't you show us the road and things? We want to see where you're going and things. And the reason why I don't show the road on this part of the vlog is because. 
because where I'm going is over to Jules house for work you know there's too many idiots out there who like to freaking do stupid things and uh, because of that that's the reason why I am not showing the road you know they like to uh, troll a bit too hard it's one thing just you know make funny comments and things but it's another problem when you make it personal and you uh, got to attack the individual on a personal level sending magazines to their P.O. box and shit but I don't have a P.O. box anymore so that's not a problem but it just shows the class of the people that are out there on YouTube say eh? like a lot of you guys are cool but some of you guys are just belligerent pricks. So yeah, I get a call from some freaking finance company asking me what I think about my mortgage with uh, my current mortgage bank. I'm like, oh, that's pretty awesome, you know. Uh, ah, fuck. Freaking camera fell off the freaking thing and luckily the camera still works. It's kind of zoomed in. Let me just fix that. But uh, yeah, like they contact me and they're like, so uh, how's your mortgage currently working out with your current bank and things? And I'm like, great, you know. I'm at an ultra low 3.15% and that's pretty damn good I say. You know, my buddy bought a house two years ago and he was locked in at 5.68%. So 3.15 is pretty friggin' awesome, you know. I, uh, when I got this more, like when I originally bought the house, I was at 5% interest rate and then it dropped down to three and I was all excited and then uh, yeah, like I'm not due to renew my mortgage for another couple of years, freaks. I don't think. Like I just renewed that back in 2011, so I'm good now till 2016 to renew. And I'm hoping to have the house freaking paid off by then. Probably won't, but um, you know, everybody can have hope, hopes and dreams. But anyway, uh, so he's sitting there and he's asking me stuff like, uh, "Well, here over at this company here, we can offer you even lower rates." And I'm like, "How the hell is that possible? Because like I'm getting prime rates right now." Not prime plus two or anything. I'm getting freaking prime rates. I actually think I'm doing better than prime. But uh, so he's sitting there and he's like, well, you know, we can do a lot better and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay, so what's your plan? So they wanted to lock me in. And their idea of doing better is me paying less than a month, but upping my term time. And this is what's hilarious, upping my term time. So when I bought the house, I took it out on a 25 year mortgage, which is pretty standard here in Canada. You can do 20, 25 or 30 or 35 year mortgages up here in Canada. I think they abolished the 30 and 35 year. So 25 is now the most you can do. But at the time I bought the house, you could do 20, 25, 30 or 35 year mortgages. Obviously the longer you go, the less you pay over time. So if you're buying like some like $450,000 house, but you know, I, I theoretically over a 35 year mortgage, I could have bought a, like a $300,000, $400,000 house. I was approved for $200,000, so that's pretty damn decent. But anyway, uh, what, what ended up happening was I uh, decided uh, to go for 25 years, and I pay pretty good. I pay about $375 bi-weekly on my mortgage, and that was at 5%. So sure as shit, when they gave me the new interest rate, I was like, well, right on. They're like, your payments are now gonna be instead of, well, there's another uh, Trans Am suite, but uh, instead of paying uh, 375 bi-weekly, they're like, now you're gonna pay three, you know, it ended up coming down to like 335 or something like that. It was like 40 bucks cheaper, and I'm like, well, leave my payments alone, let me pay 375 bi-weekly still, and just crank off the extra 80 bucks on right under the principal. That's what they've been doing, because it's like 40 bucks, this is usually two mortgage payments in a bi-weekly period, except for those odd months when you get paid uh, three times. You know, I have them take the money out the moment I get paid on my uh, on payday, so the mortgage always gets paid and the property taxes always get paid on. Well, this monkey here is like, well, we can crank it up to a 35-year mortgage, and instead of paying 375 bi-weekly, we can have you down to 280 bi-weekly. How does that sound? And I'm like, yeah, but you just extended my duration like that's not good and he goes yeah but think of all the money you'll save how the frig am I saving money I'm not saving money I'm just taking more time to pay the son of a bitch off I'm like I'm losing my shit on the phone with this guy I'm like I'm like your your logic is flawed and he goes well how so and I said well number one what interest rate are you coming in at and he's like well you know um, we can't really do as good as, as you have right now but we can we can we can try to uh, come pretty close and I said okay so you're gonna give me a higher interest rate, a longer pay period, but in your in your cunning logic, I'll be saving money. 
Why the fuck did I come into this lane? Son of a bitch. I just freaked myself over. Okay, we're gonna have to do some evasive maneuvers. Son of a bitch, I frigged up. One second. Lazy ass construction workers had a freaking sign back there saying that the, the, the right hand lane was closing, so I used it. Just because the lazy ass construction workers didn't take their shit down. Lazy ass construction workers. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I tell them, like, well, how the hell is that make, does that make sense, bud? You're offering me a longer term, a higher interest rate. Oh yeah, my payments are less, but now I'm into this mortgage for even longer. Like they're gonna bump me from a 30, a 25 to a 35 year mortgage at 4% and, uh, or 4.2%. So I'm going up like a whole percentage now, but I'm saving money because I got an extra 10 years tagged on to the son of a bitch. Like I only have, what? I'm already two years into my second term or my second renewal, so I have like 18 years left on the friggin' mortgage if I play it by if I pay it off as at their at their rate. Like unfrickin' believable. So I told the guy, I said, "Go fly a kite, bud. I'm not friggin' doing this." So sure enough, um, he's like, "Well, sir, it's just, you know, you'd be saving yourself like X amount of dollars a month. That's almost a hundred dollars a pay." That's two hundred dollars a month left in your pocket that you can use for other things, like uh, blah blah blah. And then he starts talking about equity loans, like he wants to give me an equity loan. You know, you know what that is, eh? Like if your house is, if you have like a like eighty thousand dollars left on your mortgage and your house is worth one hundred eighty thousand, they will give you a loan and get re or give you a second mortgage, basically, for like twenty years and give you a hundred grand to do whatever the hell you want with. No, I'm not doing that either. So like, holy shit, bud. The objective is to pay off the house so I can blow the cocksucker up and put up a new freaking house oh my god this guy was just pissing me right off so finally I told him to go fly a kite and frig off and uh, kind of kind of got a little bit more belligerent with him you know words that aren't really good for YouTube's and make this video rated R but uh, anyway people that's my story about the mortgage how the hell these guys knew I had a mortgage pissing me off I'm gonna be talking to somebody over at my bank and saying what the frig you doing selling my information I'm a friggin fire you guys and find another bank to hold my mortgage anyway people I'm at Jules' house. I'm gonna go see what the hell's up with her. Let's give her. Told you guys I was coming over for a cigarette. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. <laughs> we, we need to quit. One day. One you're day. You're up for the challenge. I'm so glad yeah, to yeah. with you. She's gonna challenge me to a no cigarette contest. Yeah. So you e can go count. We can smoke e smokes. Smoke right? what? E smokes. Oh, for sure. I got one at home I need to use. <laughs> I can reload mine. It's awesome. Oh yeah, mine has cherry and grape flavor. Mine has cherry, menthol, tobacco, and yeah, I got the tobacco. And and some other. Which one do you have? It's Canadian. It's the e-cigarette. The one from the, the other one from the store. The one from the smoke lotto. It's like 19 bucks, and you oh. get two cartridges with it, and it recharges into any USB port. Yep, but I can recharge my cartridges because I bought the the e-juice. Oh, you can even get the e-snow. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right. Well, but if you're up for the challenge, I am. Mm -hmm. I quit for a month, and then an ex came back, and then back on the side. <laughs> Stress. Stress. De stressors. <laughs> yeah. So, there's probably going to be a no smoking challenge happening in the very, 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 very near future. <laughs> so does that mean like tomorrow? No, for that. <laughs> Maybe by, I hope not. Maybe by the new year or something. Well, I, I would at least hope that you'd let me smoke the rest of the carton I just bought. So. Word. Mm -hmm. How many Word. do you have in the fridge? Seven. Seven cartons or seven, seven. packs? Cartons. Really? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just trolling. I do that. <laughs> and you usual people. Come for a visit and off to work I go. <laughs> We have to sit in the backyard. It's nice to cool back there. Mm -hmm. All right, people. Peace the frig out. Peace out. All right, people. Well, it's friggin' three, uh, 20 to 4. I should get my arse off to work. So, we'll fire up the car. I reattached the suction cup there so I can do a little hands-free driving because, freak sakes, that's annoying. I had a little story to tell and I couldn't tell it because my freaking camera falls off. But, uh, all right, let's get the frig out of here. Let's go to work and uh, get this shift did. You know what I'm saying? Freaking hot one out today, people. We're gonna have shad flies tonight. Yeah, I gotta come up with a better mounting system for this camera because uh, this current mounting system's just not cutting it right. It's not uh, doing me any favor and that's the second time I've hung this camera up there and she's fallen so I just reattached it there wet it 
Put some spit to the suction cup there, stabbed her up, we're good to go, maybe, probably, probably not. Who knows, Frig. So we'll head off to work and get some working things done. I just hope this shift is super quick. I don't feel like dealing with this today. Don't you dare stall, you pile of shit. Friggin' car's just pulsing. Sometimes, man, this car runs great. Other times, it just doesn't seem to give her. Just doesn't seem. So yeah, you guys all saw the damage on the Trans Am. It's so minute. It's not even worth it. People are leaving comments like, dude, you can get a half a paint job out of it. You know, get them to pay for half of the paint job and things. And honestly, I don't want to go through insurance because I got one get out of jail free card with my insurance where I can get myself into a real serious fender bender. And if I make a claim that it doesn't hurt me and, and, and life is good, you know, and this one here, I, I'm not even going to bother right now because like I said, it's just a cracked mirror and uh, frigged over rear quarter, not a big deal. It's, it's not that not that big of a, an issue, so frig it. I'm not going to bother worrying about it. So my co-worker's bringing coffee in tonight and I don't have to pay for it, which I can't because I have no money left on my card, so I got to reload my card. But tonight after work, like I said, we're going for coffee. I'm going to meet up with Adrian. I think Chris Christina's going to be out, and Elijah Wood's probably going to be out with his girlfriend. So, I can't remember her name. I think it's like Victoria or something. And we're going to hang out and freaking have coffee and chat and just, you know, do talk YouTube stuff and other things. And, yup, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. But uh, right now I need to go to work. It sucks having, well, I shouldn't say it sucks having a job. It's awesome having a job, getting paid and stuff. It just sucks that you have to spend one third of your, your, your week working and not doing what you want to do. But money makes the world go round, people, for now anyway. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. So they said on that show, Evan Almighty or Bruce Almighty. But, um... Oh well, whatever, we'll just go to work and get this shift over with and then uh, the weekend is here and I'm probably going to have some beer. I said I wasn't going to be drinking but uh, you know what, like I said yesterday, who gives a flying frig what people say? Think I have a drinking problem? Well I don't have a drinking problem because I haven't had any drinks for two weeks. Well, no, never mind, last Friday I got pretty hammered for Flyer Day. But other than that, I haven't really been drinking much, so who knows? I got a couple bottles of wine in the fridge at home. Maybe I'll freak one of them over tonight and do Flyer Day. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I gotta quit taking what people say to heart. Like I said before, why should I be listening to people who did next to nothing for me? I should be listening to the people who do stuff for me. Let the trolls live under their bridges, you know what I'm saying? All right, people, I'm at work as you can tell, so I'm gonna shut her down here and we'll talk to you on my break. Peace the frig out. Alrighty people, well it's friggin' 8 o'clock lunchtime. I skipped doing a vlog at 5.30 because I just had nothing to talk about. I still have nothing to talk about. Tonight has been a very, 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 very boring night. It's been really unproductive, so, you know, everybody's either probably gone to their cottages or camps or something. It's such a gorgeous day out today and supposed to be calling for a nice weekend too. So, uh, people are probably turning off the computers and, you know, going to do something other than surf the internet, which is good. You know, but it makes for a really long and boring night, that's for sure. Oh, freak. So I'm really upset there. I saw that thing, that Chromecast, and I've been watching some videos on it because MKRBHD or whatever the freak his name is, he uh, did a review on it showing them, and then friggin' a bunch of other people did reviews on them, and they look friggin' awesome as frig, and I can't get one because I live in Canada. Now, a lot of you said, well, I got a solution for that, you know. I live in the U.S., just wire me some cash, and frig, I'll buy it and send it your way. Well, that's cool and all but I wonder if once it comes to Canada if it'll be like region locked the US only for the time being so to avoid risking it and losing money on it I'm gonna wait till they finally release them to Canada probably something to do with CRTC the reason why they're not out in Canada yet I don't know or maybe like Roku or D-Link friggin bought into the CRTC and said don't allow it up there to ruin our sales who the frig knows these companies are so damn crooked nowadays holy shit they're just having a big sex party over there those bugs look at them all look at them just dick Oh, I just picked up a cobweb. Maybe they're skipping. I don't know. I don't know. These bugs are pretty messed up. Must be mating season for the whatever the hell kind of bugs these are. Can't get one unlocked. They're moving too quick. Ah, oh, friggin' just, just disgusting. And seeing how it's 8 o'clock and it's still kind of warm out, we're gonna have shad flies tonight for sure. Along with the mosquitoes, for sure. And those drive me nuts, for sure. Okay, that truck looks brown to me. And I honestly don't know who in their right mind would buy a brown vehicle. Oh wait, I did. That's right, people. My tempo originally was brown. I used to call it fecal brown. I've mentioned this multiple times in the vlog. I am a victim of a brown vehicle owning. 
Whoops. So Rex sends me a link to a Kijiji ad for a motorbike, but I think it's a bit more bike than I'm willing to uh, really jump on. It's a KLR 650, all super motored out. To me, super moto sounds like something you would, you know, take to the dirt tracks and launch off jumps and then do like supermans and like, you know, side seat saddle riding and tricks and stuff. Not something you'd use as a street bike just to go in to and from work, you know, super moto. To me, that's what it means. Probably is not what it is, but to me, it sounds like a really torquey freaking bike that's designed to launch you off to the moon. Oh, thank God I just had a freaking bee on me, but he left without stinging. Oh, that would have been bad. I'm still on the fence about a motorbike or not, you know. I'd rather get a, a newer, more fuel efficient vehicle, like a car, than a motorbike, especially after yesterday. Imagine if I would have been on a bike and Buddy Van Dudo came flying through and just plowed through me. Holy shit, I'd be dead. Dead or in a full body cast. Sure, the lawsuit would be nice and I'd be a millionaire, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to do anything else. Like, I'd be completely friggin' wrecked. You know, money can't buy a new body. Unless somebody out there knows about Google making a robot body, let me know in the comments below. This friggin' crow's just giving her. Just, just noising up every time he passes a seagull. Seagulls are like, frig you, we're going to the beach. Stupid seagulls. I honestly have no idea what to talk about. I'm kind of stumped. Huh, get it? Cause like there's a stump there. Okay, that was bad. So I've been really contemplating on moving my one computer out of the red room, my XPS 8300, and moving it into the bedroom. And then I don't bother. <laughs> now the whole reason behind wanting to do that was that way there I could have the computer in there and all that but there's so much noise in that room with the fans going that uh, doing video game videos it's a lot better in the red room because there's no background music uh, background noise to really interfere with the audio so I think I'm probably gonna leave it where it is probably maybe quite possibly I don't know I've just been trying to figure out ways to maybe rearrange the house to make it look a little bit more different and stuff and I don't really know what to do I know this weekend I plan on doing some major cleanup in the house I'm gonna have to, uh, my one vacuum's right dicked. It, I cleaned it out, cleaned the filters, cleaned the motor area, cleaned the vents out and everything, and it still has like zero sucking power. My other vacuum's not too bad, but it takes no time to fill the cartridge. It's a bagless. It has like a, like a, like a measuring cup that it just pumps all the shit into. It's got a three filter setup as well, and I cleaned the filters on that, but holy crap, it, it takes no time to fill that thing, so. I don't want to do some vacuuming, do some cleanup, and get the house all back up into order, so just a matter of time. Freak sakes, I just get a text from Jules, and uh, she went to uh, to Walmart with her kids, you know, go pick some things up, you know, tour the trees and all that stuff. And the kids behaved, and if the kids behave in the store, on the way out, they, she gives them each a buck to go and use the bubble gum machines, you know, those ones you put the coin in, you turn the guy, and a little bubble comes out, and there's like a toy or a gum or something in it. Well, she does that. This friggin' lady comes out of nowhere and gives her shit. Like, I don't know if she gave her shit or what the hell she meant by the comment, but she looks at Jules and goes, oh, you mothers and your children. What the frig does that even mean? Like, holy crap. Unfreaking believable. I don't know, man. Lately, people have gotten some real serious balls making comments where they shouldn't even be making comments. Like, maybe she didn't mean it in a harsh way. Who knows what tone it was made in. But right now, Jules is not feeling too happy about that comment because she, I guess it must have came off as a negative context. But like, really? Is it this lady's place to say anything? Probably not. You know, who the frig is she? You know, Jules' kids are pretty cool, you know, they, 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 they behave when you tell them to and, you know, they listen if you ask them stuff. Like, last weekend I went over there and I was able to, uh, well, I, I bought them ice cream cones, those mini cones from, uh, from Sobeys, you know, an after, after dinner dessert type thing. And, you know, I was able to get, I'm like, here, can you go put this in the freezer? Yup, right, like, right away, no questions asked. Like, they listen, they're good kids, they get excited, they're kids, you know, they're gonna act like kids. Not gonna be d adults or anything, but, uh, they're, they're good kids and friggin' this lady goes off and like loses it on her like what the frig is wrong with people these days I don't know Jules didn't do anything about it she just kind of walked out with her kids jumped in the van and went home but uh, if I was there I probably would have been like excuse me or something like what do you mean by that content you know what do you mean by that and depending on her outtake well either a if it was a good comment I would have you know thanks or B, if it was a bad content, I probably would have reminded her why her own parents hated her and why she's probably single. <laughs> because, you know, I can be a real asshole, people. I can be an asshole when I want to be an asshole. Everybody can. But for some lady who doesn't know Jules from a hole in the ground, to come out of nowhere and make a comment like that about her and her family, yeah, that's not ballsy, that's just stupid. And this is why I say, too many idiots, not enough cyanide. True fact. <laughs> when my coworker comes back for lunch, she went over and walked over to my car and looked it over. She goes, I can't see any damage on your car. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to see it, but it's there, like, 
There's a, I'll be able to get that out though with that. Uh, do you guys remember the farm car that we brought to Dave's like, I'm gonna say three years ago? The uh, Dodge Stratus? Well, basically the headlights on it were completely yellow from sun stained or whatever the frig. Whatever makes the headlight yellow, they were there. Well, I managed to bring one of them, well, I brought them both back to clear by using this turtle wax polishing compound. It's got like grit in it and stuff. For all I know, it could just be snot with sand in it. Anywho, I put some onto a microfiber cloth and I wiped down the headlights and cleaned them right up and they're transparent again. That's what I'm gonna use to get that shit off the side. I'm gonna use some polishing compound and take that off the side and that should work fine. Probably gonna do that tomorrow. Actually, what I wanna do tomorrow is turn my hose back on and uh, give that thing the bath that it desperately needs. Clean it right up. I would go to the pay and spray, but it would probably cost me around $70 in tokens to get the car back up to looking pretty. A lot cheaper to do it at home with a soap bucket and a, and a couple sponges. And I bought some sponges there from the dollar store last week when I went to get the stuff to clean up Oreo's mess. And um, they got that one side spongy, this side's kind of kind of scratchy. And uh, not, not like steel wool scratchy, but you know, it's abrasive. So if you're getting the tough to reach spots out, that'll work. Also tomorrow I want to go to the source because they have something I really need and I posted it on Facebook. It's um, one end ha one end has two pinchers like a booster cable and the other end has a 12 volt, volt power adapter. Yeah. Now you're probably saying Adam what the frig do you need that for? Well what I was thinking and hear me out is with that 12 volt power adapter I can charge up my one my old battery out of the Trans Am because it'll still hold the charge. Charge up that battery and then use the pinchy wires in the 12 volt and that way there I can plug my air compressor into it. And my uh, uh, my crappy tire one and quit blowing these friggin 12 uh, 20 volt uh, or 20 what is it 20 amp fuses not 20 volts not 20 watts 20 amps for sakes and over there I can quit blowing those fuses in the g6 and I can pump that tire back up and go from there you know get some air back into that tire so that's what I was thinking about doing picking that up tomorrow also getting some shopping done some other things just thinking about doing steak again tomorrow night for supper mom and dad haven't contacted me I don't know if I'm going down over to their house at all this weekend gonna have to find out what's what and go from there but I was thinking about turning back on the hose tomorrow Tomorrow, and then washing off the uh, Trans Am and uh, getting her all back up to par and you're looking clean again and don't know what the frick I'm gonna do with that mirror I looked them up on eBay and they're kind of expensive and none of the wrecking yards around here have any with glass in them still so I have no idea how the frick I'm gonna fix that but I uh, guess we'll have to wait and see and figure shit out and go from there so yeah frig sakes thank God it was just the glass on the mirror and not the whole rear end of the car because that would have sucked because uh, having a bitch of a time finding a mirror for it. Imagine trying to find new body panels and stuff. Well, that wouldn't be my problem. That'd be his insurance paying at a body shop out the ass to replace my car and fix it up. Cause there'd be no way in hell I'd be letting them write it off for 950 bucks. I'd be like, no, 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 drunkie the fuck clown, he wrecked it. He's building me a new one or he's buying me a brand new one. Either way, I'm getting a new friggin', a new Firebird. So figure it out, you know, one of those. So as per my conversation yesterday when I was talking about the uh, trade-in for the Honda Civic, it is a 2000, I think it's a 2011 or 2012 Honda Civic EX. No idea what the specs on the engine are or anything. It's five-speed manual, power sunroof, power windows, power door locks, remote start, the whole kit and, no, sorry, no remote start, but it's got everything else, MP3 player on the dash and, you know, USB inputs and auxiliary inputs and all this awesome friggin' stuff that the G6 just doesn't have. Plus, it's got the manual transmission. So, you know, you can choose whether you want to have good fuel economy or friggin' power. You know, if you redline every shift, you're gonna get tons of balls but uh, your fuel economy is gonna be shit and if you drive it right you know shift when appropriate you'll have pretty decent fuel economy so it all depends on how you were driving you know do the old red line for a good time you're gonna get like 13 miles per gallon if you do the uh, the old driving properly and shifting accordingly and you know some some of these cars like the old focus had a shift light on it when that light came on if you shifted with that light you get like friggin 30 miles per gallon out of that car that car is awesome on gas I miss that car friggin 45 bucks to fill the tank and go like 600 kilometers on it and that's with me redlining first gear every time and then again when I drove that car I was like first second fourth you know I'd skip third because it was pointless the moment I put the car in third gear it was calling for fourth right away so I'm like well why don't I just skip a step and slam it right in the fourth so first gear takes you to 40 second gear to 50 and that's kilometers per hour people not miles and it's 50 kilometers per hour in town unless otherwise marked or is it 40 now it could be 40 so theoretically you could bomb around in first gear at max rpm all you wanted but uh first second fourth because 
the other gears are kind of pointless. Or when I'm on the highway, that was hilarious. I used to go down to Stratford to visit my friends, and uh, my uh, focus, I would go first, second, third, fifth. Because <laughs> first to bring you to uh, 40, second would bring you to 80, third to bring you to 135. So you can only do 100. So once I was at 100 miles, 100 miles an hour, free. 100 kilometers an hour, which is about 55, 60 miles an hour, I would just slam her into fifth and leave her there and then bomb down the highway. And if I needed to pass somebody, just downshift into fourth and drop it, you know? Will I miss automatic? Probably not. I do miss driving five speed though, let me tell you. And I remember when I bought the Focus, mom was like, oh, you didn't buy the kind of car with a clutch, eh? And I'm like, yeah, mom, five speed. And she's like, oh, you're just gonna go through clutches like crazy. True facts, people. That car, okay, I drove it to about 231,000 kilometers. I got the car at 112,000 drove it to 231,000, sold to my buddy Chuck, and he put an additional 160, 170,000 clicks on it. Anyway, he sold it to uh, a guy that wants to hit 400,000 kilometers. Buddy had the car, drove it for another 50,000 kilometers till it finally got pulled off the road because there was nothing holding the body panels on except for sheet metal and, and rivets. Like the body completely failed the car. Original engine, original transmission, original clutch. Did well over 400,000 kilometers. If you know how to drive them, no problems. If you don't know how to drive them, you're gonna go through clutches like crazy. So there you go. So people are replacing their clutches like crazy. Well, quit doing freaking burnouts. You know, putting her in first gear, leaving the clutch and redlining it and dumping her. All you're doing is wearing out your shit faster. Don't do that. You might accidentally have your clutch outlast your car. True story. Hell, even my buddy Joe, who's now gone, his car was back there. He had a uh, 1991 Chevy Cavalier with a 3.1 liter V, uh, V6, five speed manual. Actually, they still have that car. His dad drives it. The friggin' thing has over 300,000 kilometers on it and they're still on their original clutch. Why? Because if you drive it right, it'll last a long time. If you drive like an idiot, you'll be putting money into that clutch and system like crazy. So, treat your car with respect, it'll treat you with respect. Disrespect your car, it'll shit the bed. Unless it's a Pontiac G6, then it's just gonna disrespect you anyway because that's what those cars do because they're piles of piss, you know? Know, but it's the way she goes. So I'm seriously considering tomorrow maybe going down there to, to my car and talking to them and seeing what we can do and maybe, just maybe, uh, looking at doing a trade-in, maybe. You know, I really want a truck, but honestly, I kind of want something a little bit more fuel efficient and, and fun to drive and, and things. And a pickup truck would be awesome and all, but do I need one? Probably not. That, you know, owning a five-speed in the winter is freaking awesome because you really have more control in the snow. And that and those Civics are so low to the ground that I'll probably get hung up on every damn snowbank out there, which would be pretty freaking hilarious. But you know, whatevs, whatevs. And also being a five speed, I know for a fact that it wasn't a rental off, off lease like the G6 was when I got it. Yep, the G6 was a rental car. That's what I bought people. Why do you think it has so many problems? Anybody out there who's ever rented a car, you can't tell me for a single minute that you didn't drive the ball bag off that thing. Because uh, I've rented my fair share of cars back in the day. I've rented a G6 2.4 liter and I redlined that thing a couple times, you know? We were doing a move for my brother one time. Was it for my brother? I can't remember who it was for. No, actually it was for my buddy. And we rented a, a full-size pickup with a U-Haul. And let me tell you, when that U-Haul came off, the rubber spun. Yup, freaking did a burnout in the truck. Super long one too, it was just grody. Complete with brake stand, just holding it there, double tire fire, just roasting the tires off of it, wrecking the rear end. I didn't give a shit, we paid the $15 insurance. So, buddy told me it was an off-lease car, that somebody had it in off-lease and they got it back and they bought it at an auction and then sure enough, they were in the car facts on it and found out yeah it was leased to a rental company and then auctioned off and I bought it son of a bitch but the safety thing with a five-speed is they can't lease out five speeds because not everybody out there knows how to drive one that's why that joke on Facebook so awesome of the best anti-theft mechanism ever and it's a picture of a gear shifter that's a true story a lot of people can't drive stick and that's what's awesome. I personally think everybody should learn how to drive five speed because let me tell you, driving a five speed is a hell of a lot more funner than driving an automatic by a lot. So I'm either gonna do that or I'm gonna say frigate and get the G6 fixed and just ride the satchel off of it. I don't know. The Honda Civic does sound pretty friggin' awesome though, especially after all the reviews I've read on them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, people, my lunch is almost over. I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with this night. So until next time, peace the frig out. 
Alrighty people, it's friggin' midnight, time to get the cock out of here and head home, so uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we were gonna go for coffee with Adrian and Elijah Wood's younger brother, but um, they're on this end of town at Lakeshore, so basically I'd have to drive all the way home, which is gonna take about 10 minutes, so let Scruffy out, jump back in the car, drive all the way back down here to Lakeshore, which will take another 15 minutes, which is not worth it. They've been out for a while, they're probably not gonna stay out much later, so I'm just gonna head her home and call her quits for tonight and uh, do flyer day so I also just recently chugged like two monster energy drinks so I'm right ripping ready to go so let's get the frig out of here and things yeah. hey guys I'm home now I already let super scruffy oh my crap I think he look cute when he jumps now maybe I don't even know if I got him in the shot but I got some flyers here flyers are gonna suck this week all we got is future shop food basics and Canadian tire I don't know why but they just haven't been Flyers haven't been on their game. Probably gonna have to wait closer to Christmas time and then things will start to pick up, I don't know. But um, I just let the dog out for a shit. And um, we're gonna go upstairs. Why? Because it's time for... Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales. So much sales, love the sales. That's right, people. Right, Oreo? Am I right? Why are you, why are you doing this? Why, why, you can't come under there. Why are you doing this? You're so fluffy. You can see your face now and your ears. It's time for flyers. Let's get on with it. Yeah, buddy. He's such a soft puppy. He's so soft now. He's so soft. He's so soft. All right, people. First, we're going to start off with Food Basics. It's my favorite grocery store because it's right beside the beer store. Quite possibly the best damn hot dogs you can buy. And they're on sale. Yummy, yummy hot dogs. Yummy, yummy hot dogs. Uh, you get like a whole bunch of them for that price? Because those would probably be pretty awesome on the barbecue. A big wad of bananas for 57 cents a pound. Big wad of bananas, 57 freaking cents. Yeah, bananas. Oh, two for three bucks. Coca-Cola or Pepsi, Rockstar or Amp, Glasso or Evian Water, two for three dollars. Serve two ninety-eight when you buy two bitches. Yeah, half and half, half, half and half, half and half, or you can get whipping for freaking two forty-nine. You solid white tuna, solid white tuna, buck eighty-eight. Ooh, I do like apple juice. I also like fruit juice. That price is not bad. I might have to go buy some juices. Blood diamond, you make some awesome cheese. When I eat it, it makes me wanna sneeze up my bum. Isn't that the thing that bloke buys every once in a while? And I think he oven cooks it or something, and then chops it up, then eats the shit out of it, and it's friggin', it looks delicious. I'm pretty sure that's the thing that bloke buys, but I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. That's a good price. Oh my god, friggin' amazing hot dogs. Indeed. That looks like cow intestines. I friggin' love chicken. I might buy some of these and chicken bake them up. Just say yeah, just say yeah. Make up your mind. Are you pop or are you chips? Make up your mind! Ooh, chocolate bar flavored milk. Oh, so that's what chickpeas look like. I wonder what dude peas look like, because chickpeas are pretty hot. Bet you dude peas probably wear freaking leather jackets. Oh, tea right from the Tata people. Tea right from the Tata. Tata, 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 Five corn on the cobs, two packs for ten, for five bucks. I love corn on my cob. Blackberries are yummy and sweet. I'd like to buy a lot and make some jelly. <laughs> I could totally see your nuts. Alrighty, people, let's move right along with Canadian son of a bitch. Oh, now you can go out back and pitch a tent. 
for $79.99, the Broadstone Two Room Dome Tent. Two separate doors, so you can have yours and she can have hers, and then you can both leave out of different ways. Oh, that's kind of a small shed, actually. Seven and a half by seven and a half. Maybe big enough to, you know, put the Dynamark in. Kinda wanna buy one of these, but I don't know. The only barbecue you will ever need to buy but I do believe it runs on charcoal. Wait, are those dials? Are, are those dials? Those are dials. This does not run on charcoal. It is a propane barbecue. Oh, I'd like to get another 32 inch TV and put it up here on my computer. If I ever want to be itchy again, I know what to buy. And it's only 20 bucks. Ew, bug lights keeps the bugs away from your shit. I should buy one of those and stab it outside. That would solve my problem. Oh, for anybody looking to start off on YouTube, do not buy any of this. Ever. Weed be gone. Control your weeds with a squirt gun in a bottle. That would be excellent, except for it goes through the wall. Do they have the goes through the window option? Yes, they do. For $3.99, you can have the goes through the window option of 8,000 BTUs, which might be enough to clean this room and make it cooler. Pew, 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 pew. Yup. Okay, those are freaking awesome. Little kids' tents are hilarious. Just throw it up in the air and it pops open. I got one of those in the garage, but it doesn't look like a hippopotamus or a monkey. I think that's a freaking monkey. Yup. They couldn't have put that price in the worst possible place. Like, I know it's some sort of a motorbike because it's, I don't know what it is actually. It's some sort of a pedal bike motorbike, for sakes. Like they put the thing right over top of the pedals. But for all you know, it could just be a really awkward seat. Oh, for those times when you have frogs in the way, frog tape. Yup. I should get an anvil. Yeah, I should totally get an anvil. Don't know why, but. All the cool people I know have anvils. I need an anvil. I take it back. I need this. This right here. I don't know why, but it freaking recreational power pack boosts, infiltrates, and provides portable 12 volt, 120 volt, and USB power. I need you. I want you. I gotta freaking have you. There's the price. Hey dad, Christmas time's coming. Or you can buy me this one too. Look at this, 1200 peak amps. Dad, Christmas, $65. Dad, are you watching my videos? Look, I'm pointing out something I want for Christmas. I'm totally doing it. Hey, I got one of those. Oh my God, it's so shiny. Not a bad price, I think. Yeah, I need to buy some of those for my G6. I wonder if this brand's any good. What the hell brand is that? Buy one, get the second free. ATE Premium Premium One. Oh, the Premium Ones. Oh, that makes them really awesome, I guess. I don't know. They got like this like crazy design into them, and I guess it probably like does some extra cool stuff. Maybe it makes whistle sounds when you brake. Or maybe it makes like a turbo blow-off sound. So you smash on the brakes, people will be like, oh my god, his, his VTEC kicked in. I, I, I wish I could put that on the G6. Then it would sound all farty and bloaty. Hey, people, look, it's a pushy cutty. Pushy cutty. Yeah, the Yardworks 21.3 inch push mower with 173cc overhead valve engine, auto choke, and easy start premise. And if it's not a premise, we will give it back in four years. How much is that? Spencer. Okay, we're gonna move on to future shop. Exciting stuff. G.I. Joe. Holy crap, people. Everybody run out and buy a MacBook. They, you're saving 40 bucks. Seriously, it doesn't get any better than this. 40 bucks off a MacBook. Holy crap. Look at these specs. They are amazing. Can you tell I'm being sarcastic, bitch? Oh, I should get this TV for my bedroom. 40 inches. I wonder if that'd fit. Apparently, they're doing 20% off iTunes cards. That's dicked. If I didn't buy my Samsung uh, Galaxy S4, I totally was going to order this thing here off of the Google Play Market, like the LG Nexus 4. And it's, it's a nice phone. It's actually pretty decent. It's got some pretty nice specs. Okay, Dad, are you paying attention? 
Toshiba laptop, quad core AMD processor, and it's got a graphics card. This is way better than your current laptop and way cheaper and it'll most likely kick the shit out of anything, anything you're gonna throw at it. Actually, to be honest with you, this is better than your desktop. It's way better. And it's got a one gig dedicated graphics card. You should go buy this. Just saying. These are pretty cool. What the hell are these? Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. 8.0. Ten point one. Huh. It kind of looks like a really big version of my phone. I really like these. These are sweet. And any specs? Android 1.2 dual core, 1.5 dual core, 1.6 dual core. What the hell? Why, why, why didn't they stab a quad core in there? Why are you low spec? Okay, that's a pretty neat design on this laptop or ultrabook sorry that's a pretty neat design that price sucks but that's a pretty neat design oh for crying out loud go home Dell you're drunk I was thinking about picking up a two terabyte hard drive I'm not sure why but I was thinking about it isn't that the same price as that piece of shit that I looked at over in the other site Canadian Tire. This one's only 720p, but who gives? That, that, that would be pretty good. That would do the job up here. I really don't understand the point of this camera. It's an Android powered camera. Really? I really don't need this. I'm surprised that this, is, this is even selling. It's kind of, it seems kind of pointless. And it's got a quad core CPU, so it probably just eats your battery life right up. That's actually a pretty good price right there. Not for these cards, these cards are kind of shit. But this card is actually true class 10. Kind of want to buy one of these for my phone. And people, that's pretty much all we got for Flyer Day. Like I said, they're not the greatest. I did my best with them. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Right now I gotta rock a piss. Alrighty people, well, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the vlog down here because uh, it's currently 1.30 in the morning. By the time I get this thing edited and uploaded and all that jazz, it's gonna be like five o'clock in the morning. So on that note, that note, what the hell's going on over there? Oh, you guys probably can't see that, but there was totally some flashy lights happening across the street. Huh, Dick. Anyway, people, on that note, if you like today's video, you know what to do. Give the video a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, down below. Want to say anything to Oreo real quick? Oh, Jesus. Oreo, Oreo, speak. 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 Ah, you want to play with your toy. You're such a weird scruffy. Yes, who's is. Oreo. Look up. Way up. Doesn't he look a lot thinner? Yeah. He doesn't want to speak. Anyway, people, until next time, keep on vlogging.